Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and Halloween is coming. That is why I'm coming with this tutorial for a beaded witch hat or a beaded leprechaun hat. Tell me in the comments which one you think it is a leprechaun or a witch. I'm showing it in easy steps and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Subscribe with the bell, like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 oz heat beads, white and iris. I'm here also using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size like 10 or 12. Here I'm using scissors and pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with two iris beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail that I will put my needle on and finish my work with it later. Just make some knots and finish it, okay? Now, as I have these two beads, I'm exiting through one of them and then I'm going through the other one. Okay. And what I want to do, guys, is to make them stay next to each other uh, with the sides touching and the holes pointing in one direction, like here. Okay. And then I'm going through the second one of them. Now I have this. Then I'm going to take another bead like this one, guys, and I'm going backwards through the previous one. Again, I want to arrange it in the same direction, hole pointing in this direction and sides touching. Then I go through this bead again. Okay, now I have three beads here like this. Then I take another one, this is the fourth one, going backwards and forming a loop here, like this, and go back. This is the fourth one. And I will show you the fifth one. And everything is absolutely the same, guys. And I will start this Halloween project with 13 beads added the same way. What is better to start a Halloween project with than 13 beads? Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Now, guys, I have 13 beads added in a row. And I'm not satisfied how they sit next to each other. That is why I'm going to reinforce them. And how I do this, I will just go back one more time through all of them. Don't worry, only the first row is that slow. And after that, everything is faster and better. Okay, I'll do this off camera and when I'm up to here, I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I have this row ready. And now what I need next are two of these beautiful iris beads. And what I'm going to do, I'm exiting here of the last bead. And here I have thread bridges between my beads, as you may see. And I will co uh, continue with the so-called brick stitch. If you don't know it, don't worry. I'm showing it easy and step by step. Okay, so as I take these two beads, I go under the first thread bridge. Why I go under the first one? Because I will be increasing. This means that in the next row I have more beads than in the previous one. Okay? So I'm under this thread bridge and what I want to do is to go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Okay? Now this bead is a little bit sticking out, but I want another bead to stick out in this row. 
That is why I'm going here at this last bit that I just made to stick out of my work and I'm going to take one bead. Then I will turn my work a little bit like this because it's easier for me. And I will go back through this bead the same way I was showing you all the time with a loop and this new bead will be sticking out uh, touching side to side to this one and with the holes pointing in this direction. Okay, then I want to go again through this last, last bit that I just added. Okay, I'm going back one more time. Okay, and now what I want to do guys is to reposition my thread. That is why I'm going through the next bit and through the bit from the previous row just like this. Don't worry that at this stage they move around a little bit. We'll fix them later. Okay, like this. Now I will turn it in this direction just to see what I have been doing now. And I want to go in the neighbor bit and then again through the the next bit of, of this second row that I'm doing. You see what I did? I just repositioned my thread a little bit. Just follow the steps and everything will be okay. Now guys it comes the easy part. Here I'm going to add one by one beads until the end of this row. How I do this? I take one, I go under the next thread bridge and pull like this and then I go backwards through the same bead. Then I take another one, go under the following thread bridge and like this and backwards. Okay. You see how it sits, the next row is the same like the previous one, just sticking out a little bit. Okay, then another bead and go under the following thread bridge. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this adding beads at each thread bridge and when I'm up to here at the last thread bridge I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and as I continued adding beads here you see I'm here at my last step where my last thread bridge is. If you haven't done this part just pause the video and add bead at each thread bridge and uh, you will have what I have here. Okay and I'm adding here the last one. And now I'm out of thread bridges but I want my work to stick out. And how I do this? I take one of these beautiful iris beads and I add it here at the same thread bridge that I've been through with the previous bead. Okay, I'm using this thread bridge one more time and I'm going backwards through this bead here. But now guys, I want one more bead to stick out like here. That is why I'm taking this one, going backwards through this bead, like this, and then again I go here. And uh, what I want to do guys is again repositioning because I want my thread to exit out of this bead but at the other direction. That is why I will go in the next bead. And now it comes the repositioning. I'm going diagonally through the neighbor bit and through the following one of the previous row. Then I go again zigzagging through the next bit and again through the same bit but from uh, this direction to that direction. So I'm, I'm changing directions and when I change direction to one of the beads 
when I zigzag through the others, I have a dire direction change now. Now I'm exiting out of the last beat in this direction. Uh, so if you work correctly here, you need to have 16 beats. And in the next row, I want 17 beats. And I will do this with increasing brick stitch. Okay, I take two beats. And because I want to increase, I'm going here under this first thread bridge like that. When I increase, I always go through the first thread bridge. And after that, I go through the beat that is closer to the center of my work. Okay. And now I think you could guess what's coming up next. I'm adding one by one beats at each thread bridge. I will show you twice and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay. This is the next thread bridge. I'm going under it with one iris bead taken. And then I go back through this bead. Then again, I take one iris bead. I go under the next thread bridge. And because it's easy and it is one and the same thing, I will let you do this by, your, by yourself until you reach here the last thread bridge. And when I reach here the last one, I'll be back to tell you how to continue. And now here, my bidding friends, I'm at the last step where I will add my last bead at the last thread bridge. I add it like always and I go back through it like always. Then you see I'm out of thread bridges, but I want one more bead in this row. And how I do this, I take one and I go under the same thread bridge here that I have. And then I go through this bead one more time that I added at the last thread bridge. Okay, now my friends, it's easier for me to flip my work. You could uh, work in both directions, it doesn't matter, but it's easier for me to flip it. And now if you work correctly, you should have 13, 16 and 17 beads. And in the next row, you need 18 beads. I started the same way with increasing brick stitch, which means I take two beads and I go under the first thread bridge. When I increase, I go through the first thread bridge. Okay. And then I go through the bead, which is closer to the center of my work. And from here on, guys, I will show you only the first step and I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself until the end. Okay, I take one. I go under the next thread bridge. And I go through this bead. I'm showing you only the beginning and the, the end of each row because these are the tricky parts. And the part where I'm adding one by one doesn't need to be shown all the time. Okay, do this and meet me at the last thread bridge. Okay, my friends, and as I continue this, I'm going here on the, the last thread bridge that I have. And I do the same thing. I'm going backwards through the same bead that I just added. Again, like before, I'm adding another bead here at the last thread bridge that I have. Now in this row I have 18 beads and now I want to start another row but it will be to the inner side. It will be with less beads. That is why I'm going through the neighbor bead and through the one after that. Okay, I'm exiting in this direction from the third beat that I have here. Two beats, 
and I go under this thread bridge that I have on my way. Okay, now I'm going through the bit which is closer to the center of my work. Okay, like this. And I'm going to add four more of those beautiful iris beads. Okay, one by one at each thread bridge. And as I added four more here, I have six iris beads in total. And I'm going to take a white bead, go under the next thread bridge. Then another white. just like this and after that guys I'm going to add six more of those iris beads okay I'm showing you only the first one and add five more here and I'll be back okay guys and if you work correctly in this row you have 14 beads six iris two white and six iris again. Now I want to start my next row, but I want to reposition my thread by going through the neighbor bit and then through the following one. Okay. Okay, guys. And now at this step, as I'm exiting from the third bit here, I want to go not here through the next thread bridge, but to the through the following one through the second thread bridge counting from where I'm exiting, okay, with four beads. Now I'm starting double brick stitch, but don't worry if you don't know it, I'm showing it easy. So it's basically take four beads, go under the second thread bridge that I have here. And then I go through these two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And here, what I want to do is to make an additional step of reinforcement of these four beads. Okay, I'm going through two of them and through the other two. Okay. If you don't know this uh, stitch, don't worry, I will show it easy. Okay. So in the first step, I have four beads instead of two. And in the second step, I have two beads instead of one. Okay, but what I do is the same thing. I go under the next thread bridge here. And then backwards through two beads. I'm adding two and I'm going backwards through two. If it's difficult for you, just repeat the steps and it will be okay. Then I'm going under the next thread bridge. And I'm going backwards through these two beads. Here I need two iris beads. And I go in the next thread bridge then backwards through these two beads then I continue with two next thread bridge backwards through these two and I will make three more rows of double brick stitch
Okay, guys, and if you work correctly, here you have nine columns of beads, four white columns, one iris column, and four white columns. And next row will consist of eight beads, and I will add them like I did before with a regular single brick stitch. Okay, I take two. And because in the next row I will have eight, which are less than in the previous row, I take these two and I go under the second thread bridge here, like this. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. And because I went through the second thread bridge, these beads stretch and I need to reinforce them. So I'm going through the first one and then through the second one. Don't worry with this work, I'm showing you all the possible traps that you could fall into. And I'm leaving you to do alone only the adding one by one under the thread bridges, okay? Then next thread bridge and add one. Then I need a white one Another white. And after that, add one by one, three of those beautiful iris beads. In the next row, guys, I will have seven iris beads and from here on I will be adding only iris beads. And because they are less than in this row, here I have eight beads. And in the next one I will have seven. I'm going under the second thread bridge that I have here because I decrease. I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. And then I reinforce these beads. And now guys, one by one, I'm going to add five more iris beads until the end of this row. So I will have seven beads at the end. Okay, do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding the seventh iris bead from this row. In the next step, I need a row with six beads. So I take two, I go under the second thread bridge because I have with one bead less than in the previous row. So I'm decreasing and I'm going under the second thread bridge. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center and then I reinforce. Okay. Now finish this row with six beads, then make another row with five, with four and with three. And I'll be back uh, to show you how to continue. I'm sure if you're up to here, you will be able to make decreasing rows with six, five, four and three beads. And I'll be back after that. Okay, guys. And here I am where I'm making the row with three beads. And by the way, if you want, you could finish your work like this with attaching here the, the earring finding. But now I want to show you how I will continue. I take one bead and I go here under this thread bridge that I have. And through this bead Okay, so I added another bead, but I want two more beads to be added here. That is why I'm going through this bead again and I'm adding them one by one like this.
and when I'm at one of them I go backwards through it okay now I don't like uh, how these sit that is why I'm going to reinforce them so I'm going through the neighbor one then through this one and backwards again through these beads by the way you could use dark thread for this project i'm using light thread just to be more visible what i'm doing here okay okay guys now i want to add another row with five beads and they are less than what I have here because here I have one, two, three, four, five, six beads. So if I want to add a row with five beads, I'm going under the second thread bridge that I have here. Not through the first one, but through the second because I will have less beads in the next row. So I'm decreasing and I'm going here through this bead which is closer to the center and I'm reinforcing but now as I reinforce I will also go backwards in the previous row to make it stay nice and tight okay then I take another bead and I go under the next thread bridge and backwards through it okay and another one and one more Now guys, what I need to add next are rows with 4, 3 and 2 beads. And I'm sure you know how to add decreasing rows with 4, 3 and 2 beads if you're up to here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just did a row with 3 beads. And now I want to add the, rest, the last row which will consist of two beads and again I'm exiting out of this bead and I'm going under the second thread bridge because I decrease and then I go through this C bead here okay then I'm going to take an earring finding go back here like this and I will reinforce after that I'm going through some beads here guys I'm making a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. And I'm going through the following seed bead. And I cut this tail thread. Now I will put my needle here at this end. I will go here in this direction through my beads. Make a knot then cut this thread as well okay guys and now my brick stitch beaded witch hat earrings or a leprechaun hat earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new videos thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough guys for these actions share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my facebook page that i posted below this video you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching